Hey guys, welcome to Tuesday Talks with the Green Bay Doulas. I'm Emily Jacobson. So this week I wanted to talk about natural induction methods. So caveat, there are none. <laughs> Sorry to burst your bubble, but if we knew what naturally made all of us go into labor, we wouldn't have to have inductions. Now, I think of it like a loose tooth. Sure, you can have a loose tooth, but is it actually ready to be pulled out? So you really have to be what we call like hanging by a thread to get some labor techniques per se to really work for you and get that induction going and getting labor happening. Now, some tips that we would say, pineapple is great. The bromamine in pineapple, which is also a great natural cough suppressant, can help thin that cervix out. Also, sperm and orgasms. Sperm is a prostaglandin and that helps to soften the cervix and get it ready to start dilating. Also, orgasms helps to clamp down the uterus. And sometimes when that happens, the uterus is like, hmm, I like that, let's keep going. So um, those are like some fun ones. You can also eat spicy food. Sometimes the irritation of the stomach helps to bring on labor. I've had a couple clients go eat fish fries and then they went into labor later that night. Mm -hmm. I don't know. There's also a place down in Tennessee where you can eat some really spicy Parmesan eggplant and you can only do it if you're 39 weeks and you have to sign a waiver, but we don't live down there, so whatever. Um, some people will say like raspberry leaf tea. Now red raspberry leaf tea is actually not anything that's gonna help cervix wise. It actually is a uterine toner. So what that's doing is um, that's helping to uh, get the uterus nice and learn and kind of like, I think of it as like pre-body, drink before a workout like pre-workout mix in a sense where it's really going to help make those contractions really workable and make change when they happen but you can be drinking that at any time many women drink that after or even just for menstrual issues in general um, now evening promos oil whether you ingest it or insert it i always say talk to your doctor first because there are some times that you don't want to take it especially if you have a blood disorder so that one, I cannot say, go take that. That is a ask your doctor first or your provider first kind of thing. So that's the evening promos oil. But really, don't stress about it. Your baby is not a library book, it is not overdue. There are things that you can do to help maybe go into labor, but don't stress, there is no tried and true way to go into labor and, and induce yourself naturally. Have fun with it, eat pineapple, have sex, eat spicy things, maybe a fish fry, whatever works for you, but if your body's not ready, it's not going to work. So those are my kind of tips and tricks. I think other people would say like, go for a walk. That's great. You may have contractions while taking a walk, but the minute you stop walking, your contractions stop too, which means your body is just not ready yet. So hang in there. I know with this humidity and weather, it's horrible, but we're here for you at Green Bay Doulas. Let us commiserate with you and we will talk to you soon. Have a great day, guys.